Don't be following no bullshit. Cause bullshit will get you killed. Real shit will get you killed. But bullshit will get you killed for sure. Now you sending niggas in the street, no matter how hood you is, how much of a killer you is, how much dope you was sold, how much shit you didn't rob, how much you do it from your shoulders. A motherfucker don't want a negative lifestyle. Certain niggas do, very few, but 90% of motherfuckers, you know, they want something better for themselves. They just can't see an option. So, you know, I feel like as niggas that come from that element, come from that environment, it's our job once we get into situations like this to just make the option visible. You, you can lead a motherfucker to the, to the lake, but you can't make them drink. So I feel like your job, once you become successful or semi-successful, or get your foot in the door, just to game your niggas up. Tell them, this, this, take that wolf from in front of their eyes, you know what I mean? And just show them, like, you got options, you got other things you can do, aside from <clears throat> risking your freedom to pay your bills, or being stuck in a mentality of segregation and genocide, killing your own niggas, killing your own folks. It's like, what are you talking about? I'm not, Listen, man, let me tell you something. I am the snitch remover from my hood. That was part of my sickness. That's what I did. So you couldn't come around me. I don't do all that with how people be saying. You got old, you got the, the jeer people jeered in me, which is a fake word, OG. That's that's something that, that don't mean nothing. That has no value to it. OG. That don't mean nothing. Uh tiny little all that. That these words, these terminologies don't mean nothing in game because they get broke every single day and they don't have no value to them. So if you 60 something years old and you still trying to be hard and like niggas ain't going by the cold and all that, man, you need to be trying to say nigga gang banging was the dumbest thing ever in life. What are you talking about? You still haven't learned nothing yet. At 60 something years old, you still want to run around here talking about all oh, this and that. Well, nigga, the homies ain't got no loyalty, this and that. Man, that ain't nothing. You should be trying to tell people don't game bang in no 24. You're supposed to be jumping on board with this. People want to talk about all this stitching. Oh, this, this is what the sickness is. See, this is part of the sickness. These are some of the signs of sickness that you're sicker than other. If you know that you told on somebody from your neighborhood, why are you still trying to come around that neighborhood? Please explain that to me. The moment you told you should have known that was your exit to go do something else. Not go turn another hood. <laughs> Not go turn another hood. Go do something else in life because gang banging is not for you. Let me explain something to you. What people say right now, what people is trying. You got a lot of these people. You got OGs. You got uh, uh, uh Youngsters, you got uh, podcasters, everybody is trying to elaborate what snitching is. Sick, snitching is a sickness that's part of your disorder. First of all, let's get that understood. G-A-M-D, gang addiction mental disorder. You have it if you still think that you are OG and <laughs> you, you're suffering still. You need to work on your sickness. You need to help in your sickness, manage your sickness. Part of people's sickness is that they told. And telling has involved. Telling has changed. 10, 15 years ago, this started, this started 10 years ago for sure. Maybe even before that, the 2010, 14 years ago. They changed it. Crash. I'm from neighborhood. I know. I'm from which role in 90s. I know. I have to deal with snitches every day in my neighborhood. Who you think is the one who busts them out? Crash changed everything. This is what they start doing. Hey, listen, just tell me who did it, and I, I'm going to let you go. You here with a gun right now. We got you. You going to jail. You got a gun. You going down. You scared. Hey, man, who killed them dudes over there? Oh, shit. I don't know. Man, listen. 
All right. We already know. Well, this looked like this a 38, huh? Well, I'm pretty sure this is the same gun that killed uh, that dude. So you finna go down for that murder. We got you. You going down. Man, I ain't kill nobody. Well, who killed them dudes over there? Man, I heard it was such and such. All right. Here, take this gun and go on. That's what crash do now. They let you leave and everything. Hey, look, man, we're going to let you walk right out the door. We, it, we, it ain't going to be no paperwork or nothing. So, yes, we did used to say, hey, you can't believe what the police say. Don't believe what the police say. Whatever they write on their report, you can't believe it. I get a homie 100% doubt. I don't care what no police say. The police walk in the room and say, yeah, nut, we know about the red Camaro. How the fuck do they know about the red Camaro? Is that right? Well, that shit don't mean nothing to me. Yeah, you know about the red Camaro, nut. Just tell us, man, who was driving the red Camaro? Man, I don't know what you're talking about. Nut, the red Camaro left from your spot. They, Yeah, it, it left from your spot, and it was two people in there. And he had on the L.A. hat, and he had on the N.C. hat. What? How the fuck they know that? Somebody told. And they right here among us, in the cell with us, on the street when we get out there right here. These are the niggas that's doing the telling. Because they letting them walk out the door without signing their names on stuff, dummy. That's what they doing now, man. So all this, so I know what it is, this and that. Man, listen, man, people ain't signed. They ain't signing nothing on no paperwork no more. They name, they been doing that. That's the old way, forging your name on paperwork. They, they don't do all that no more. They just tell us, hey, look, we got you dead back. You going to, we, hey, look, you going to prison. You finna go sit down. You at least finna get seven years, man. I know you finna get seven, eight years. Your bitch finna be out here fucking the whole nine. Man, I ain't, I ain't do nothing. Man, ain't, man, they, man I, ain't, I ain't got nothing to do with all that. Man, man listen, we ain't going to be no paperwork. Just tell us who killed old boy over there, man. That's all we want to know. Who shot the car up? Who shot old girl? Who shot her? That's all we want to know, man. Y'all know that the girl was pregnant, homie. Who shot her? Man, I heard such and such did it. You know or you heard he did it. Well, I heard he did it. Who told you he did it? Such and such. So if we go pick him up, he going to say the same thing. I don't know. Man, man, I thought y'all was going to let me go. We is. You got to give us something solid, though. And tell us who at least killed the dude over there. Tell, Okay, f forget her, the pregnant lady. Tell us who killed that dude. We need to know him. He was innocent. Who killed him? Oh, I, I know who did that. Oh, that was uh, such and such and such and such. They did that. Oh, okay. You know that for a fact. Yeah, I, I know that for a fact. I, I was out there when they took off and said they was going to go do that. All right, here, you can leave. And they let this nigga walk straight out the door. That's what's going on, you idiots. You dummies. That's what's happening right now. These dudes that's in their sickness that should have never been part of a gang who was scared. Do you know if he was scared the first time he went to the county jail? You know he going to tell, man. What is the problem? Come on, man. What is the problem? They letting these dudes out the door without paperwork, man. So you have to pay attention now to what the police is saying. You need to listen to what he's saying to make sure it don't add up to something. You can't just not listen to what the police is saying now. Now we got to listen to what the police is saying because these police is different than the other police from the 80s and the 90s. Oh, yeah. These police to tell you right now after they didn't got this dude to tell on two or three people and they want to throw him away because they want your dumb ass to kill him. Hey, nut. You know, such and such is on our payroll. What? Yeah. So, yeah. He stunt dummy been on our payroll for a long time. Are you serious? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, how you think we found out about this and that? 
we know it was a yellow car. We know it was a yellow car, and we know such and such was in the car. We just don't have no witnesses to come to court to say he was in the car, but we know he was in the car. Man, how the hell they know that? Because they let this dude <laughs> out the county without no paperwork. So now they threw with him because all his telling didn't do nothing but add up to build cases up. We knew we couldn't get him to come to court and tell, but we just let him tell so we can build these cases up on these dudes. So now we threw with him. So now, yeah, go tell us the nut. What's up, nut? Yeah, what's cracking? Man, what's happening? Man, man, what's happening? No, that's all right. Cause uh stunt dummy on our payroll. We he we we been had him on our payroll. What? Did you hear what this nigga just said? Yeah. Said stunt dummy on their payroll. Yeah, I ain't tripping on. No, stunt dummy, yeah, stunt dummy told us it was a yellow car. <laughs> you gotta pay attention to that. What? Are you serious? Stunt dummy. Didn't you go? How, how many times you been to jail this month? Oh, cause shit, nigga, what you talking about, nigga? nigga? Man, I thought you went to jail for beating your girl up too. See, people not telling you about all their private little cases they catching, man. And they get caught up with these polices. And then we have to find out because now you have to start going to court. And that's where we catch him at. In court, on the stand, crying. <laughs> it was him. <laughs> because now you didn't caught a big case and they can't let you go. So now you got to come give it up. And all the snitches start coming out. Now they start coming out one by one. Now they now start real. Well, he on the payroll too. He on the payroll too. But nobody did nothing to these dudes because guess what? He friends with the 100,000 dude that got the followers that run the hood. So <laughs> they hang out together. So nobody was going to never say uh, him because he hanging with uh, a, a million subscribers, the <laughs> 100,000 followers. He run the hood. <laughs> Man, this is everything is disorganized, homie. There's nothing the same. Every generation is different. There's no such thing as a solid. This generation was, hey, because our, our generation was, we, hey, homie, we didn't play that when we was coming up. Man, shut that shit up. All that shit is garbage. It's a delusion. It don't exist. It didn't do nothing but kill off black people. Look at all the death of the homies that was solid, that failed to people that was telling and busters and should have never been from the hood and he got the homie killed and he turned another hood and all this they lives are meaningless over don't have nothing they families out here running wild nothing and you mean to tell me you mad at me because i'm saying end gang violence in the crips and bloods because it don't mean nothing it's over with this stuff need to end you need to wake up and you need to be doing the same thing I'm doing. If your ass is 60 some years old out here talking about I'm a G, I do this and that. I I know, hey, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with no niggas that's telling. If a nigga telling, I ain't fucking with him. I know. Man, what you talking about? You supposed to do something to him. That's your job. <laughs> that's your job. What are you talking about? That's what everybody say. That's it, it, that's just to let you know that where our minds are at. Nobody mind is saying end gang violence. All these dudes that said I was at the table in the sixties and the seventies, you were supposed to be the main ones to say stop gang violence. We don't need it no more. That's my sickness. You could never come around if you was telling around me. I'm going to bust you out. That's what I do. I wish somebody would say, oh, you a snitch. <laughs> what? Man, you been, boy, 
<laughs> you better go get the paper. Let, you better go get it. Let me see it. And let me see what you talking about where my name is somewhere doing something. Because if you don't, oh, I forget. We don't do that. We don't initiate the same amount of energy on the person who says he's telling. And then it's proved that this person is not telling. The person who said he was telling gets a pass. He might have a squabble or something, but he gets a pass. I thought he was supposed to die like anybody else. He just outright accused this man of telling. What happened to that? That don't exist no more neither. See, that lets you know everything is felonious. There's no rules. There's no, no, there's, there's no balance of what's going on. This dude can get on. He been from the hood two years. Hey, man, I think that old nigga telling. <laughs> you been from the hood two years. And here you come is telling a vet that been around here, that been through seven raids of his own house, his own mama, daddy, <laughs> that he telling. Three murders, he telling, though. <laughs> you just been from this hood three years. <laughs> Man, listen, these is the people that's running these gangs. If you are 18 to 30, I feel sorry for you and you're in a gang. You call yourself, I am the shot caller, I am the leader. You're doing a wonderful job, by the way, destroying black lives. Come on, man. This is the time to stand up and do something better, man. For sure. It's no more in 2024. Samuel came to David's house in 1 Samuel 16, and he came to David's house to actually anoint somebody. Yeah. God sent him there. Yeah. And do you know they left David outside? Yeah. Left the boy outside. <laughs> really? They didn't even count him as a person. Samuel had to ask. I've checked these all out. I know this one came from the health club and this one has got a job on Wall Street and this one, but none of these are the ones that God wants to anoint. Watch this, watch this. Do you have another son? He had to ask that. And David came in there, guitar playing. He said, this is he. You hear what I'm saying? You might not look like they want you to look, but this is he. God called you. They didn't call you. Well, I've been in jail. This is he. I got five kids out of wedlock. This is he. I'm just saying, I don't know what the condition is, but you didn't choose him. He chose 